Two Russian journalists have been detained by the Ukrainian army. The National Guard has now confirmed. They went missing on Friday in the country's east. Let's get the very latest details from RT's Irina Galushka, who joins us uh, now. Irina, what reason has the military given for detaining these reporters? Well, they were detained around the town of Slavyansk. However, they were on their way to cover the inauguration of the president-elect Petro Poroshenko. Now, the National Guard has found it suspicious that the two journalists were observing and analyzing, or rather observing and... Uh, looking essentially at a Ukrainian army checkpoint. So they detained them and then handed them over to the SBU, which is Ukraine's uh, security services. Now, this, of course, being the inauguration day of the president-elect, uh, the channels, uh, Zvezda channels uh, management has turned uh, to the man asking him to intervene and uh, secure a safe and fast release of the Russian journalists. The last thing that any government should do is crack down on freedom of speech. We appeal to the president-elect of Ukraine, Poroshenko. Please give the order for our guys to be released. We call on the international media community to help, because what is happening to journalists now in Ukraine has crossed the line. Now, such calls are beginning to sound all too familiar now because this is definitely not the first case when Russian journalists have been detained or have gotten into some sort of trouble in Ukraine, particularly in eastern provinces. Just last month, we've seen the plight of uh, the Life News Channel correspondents who were also detained in very similar circumstances. They were held for a very long time uh, by uh, the Ukrainian security services. And, of course, there was uh, RT contributor Graham Phillips, who was also held in very similar circumstances. He, however, was released uh, 48 eight hours after his detention. Uh, now, of course, this being the inauguration uh, date uh, for uh, Petro Poroshenko, the president-elect begs the question of how exactly will he proceed with uh, governing Ukraine in these uh, quite uneasy times for the country. That's Irina Galushka reporting for us. Thank you.